John and Matt Stinchcomb came to us after attending one of our other fundraisers and offered to help. They just said, we want to do something. What can we do to help? They came up with this concept of Countdown to Kickoff. We wanted a way to join the Bulldog Nation to help kids out. When we partnered with Georgia Transplant Foundation and Children's Healthcare of Atlanta, we knew that we were in the right spot. With Countdown to Kickoff, it's almost a three-headed monster. We started with a golf day at UGA. Fan Fest. It's really a, a fun atmosphere for fans to get out and get some autographs and kids come out and we play our flag football game, a two-hand touch, and they run through the drills. The reason for this event is to give children a second lease on life and it's through organ transplantation. They don't do liver transplants in Hawaii for the children, so we had to pick a place where we wanted to go. And we did a lot of research because my husband and I, we were willing to go wherever we had to. We moved the whole family um, from Hawaii to Georgia for Kevin's care, and we've been extremely happy with his care here. They became our family once we stayed here for six months. And Kevin loves everybody, loves all the activities they have for um, the kids to do. So it's a great hospital. They do a great, amazing job with all the kids. Because the reality goes beyond just receiving an organ. You have to qualify to receive an organ. There are financial qualifications that have to be met. There's anti-rejection drugs and a number of different pharmaceutical needs and costs that follow a transplant. misconception is that once a, once a child gets their organ, that the work is done. And, and that's so far from the truth. Caden's got reject, he had rejection this time being in the hospital. So we realized, you know, you, you do get the gift of life. It wasn't a fix, because he will always have to get labs, and these kids will always have to make sure everything's um, working like it needs to. He missed 17 days of school last year. I've met families who have had to give up um, I mean, they've about lost their home and everything else, you know, just to pay for the drugs and medicines and stuff. In 1992, Tommy Smith started the Georgia Transplant Foundation. He saw a need in the transplant community that people were suffering and having to decide between paying for their food, paying for their house, or paying for their meds. He reached out to the community, letting them know that there is someone who cares, someone that can help with whether it be financial assistance, emotional assistance, or educational support. We're especially proud of our association with Children's Healthcare of Atlanta. For while all of our programs were created for the entire transplant community, the children are a special need, and all of our programs for the children are just a little bit more special. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank our hosts for this evening, Matt and John Stinchcomb and David Green. Through the six years of Countdown to Kickoff, we've been able to raise over $770,000 with your help. Go dogs! Well, it's so fitting that this is a Georgia-themed event with the University of Georgia because the impact of these charities is largely in the state of Georgia and the children of the state of Georgia. Children's health care and their second chance program and the need that they are meeting in conjunction with the Georgia Transplant Foundation is crucial. And we want to continue making a difference with these kids. The most vital resource any of us can have is one that would give life. And when you see the kids' faces of those who are waiting and wanting for another shot at life, you know that you're here for the right reason. So thank you so much for being a part, and we appreciate your contribution. I guess the only thing left to say is good job. Sing them. <laughs>